we're taking a look at some of the new workflow. Um, some of this is from the later 8.4 updates, and then some of this is from just 8.5. Uh, so um, before we take a look at the workflows, we'll need to set up um, for the sort of first time. You can actually, Info can send emails to some degree, just natively within the system. So if we go to administration and office profiles, and then open up the office profile for your company, generally at this point, there's just the one. And in the, uh, usually in the more tabs here, in the email setup, go ahead and add the email address and account information for the account that will be sending the email notifications from Infor. We've got our notifications at Tech ADV here. And um, the information for ours is a Office 365 account. So just whatever your SMTP information is um, for your email address. And then to go into the workflow notification itself, go over here to integration and into the integrations. Started in, okay, so our integrations, and then we'll be using the CRM workflows. Uh, there have been some ION workflows if you have the ION system set up and integrated with your Infor CRM and usually like your ERP on the back end. But here we can just use the CRM workflows without needing to set up anything else. And here's the general workflow page. Uh, we've got just the general information on the top here and then different workflows that we can set up or have set up. Uh, to create a new one, we can go ahead and click the plus sign here and give it a name and a description. And then the entity that the workflow is going to go against. Uh, here, we're gonna make one for opportunities. Uh, but you can pick uh, most, if not all of the entities within the system. Uh, once you have uh, picked one and you actually create the workflow, you can't go back and change it, but you can always make a new one. We'll go ahead and go with one we've already made here. So this is gonna send out an email anytime that an opportunity is over $150,000. So if uh, when you're making a new one, you need to click the plus sign, pick opportunity for entity, and then you'd end up in this area. And you can have the workflow trigger when you insert a new opportunity or when you update an existing one. And here's the we're working against the opportunity entity. Uh, the trigger conditions are what are going to cause the workflow to happen. So anytime we get an opportunity with a sales potential greater than $150,000, and anytime that opportunity is open, uh, for at least for here anyway, we don't want it to run on anything that uh, gets closed or gets set to an active. So we'd go ahead and set up, you know, one or more conditions. You know, here we've got two. We just click the plus sign to add more, and then you'll see what those are right here. So sales potential greater than 150,000, and open. And down here are the steps that will run when the workflow fires off. Now these go based on a database trigger basically. So again, anytime an opportunity is insert or updated, you'd add new steps here. I'm just gonna go open the one we've already made. So this step's gonna send out a notification and um, the actions are notify or um, approval, which we'll look at later. Uh, once you set that, it stays. So this is a notification and description, other information here. You can have an additional condition on this step itself. Uh, we don't want anything. We just want it to fire off when the overall condition of a opportunity over 150,000 happens. In here is the template of what's going to uh, come along in the email. And you can, excuse me, uh, just type out normally like you would for any email template. And you also, if you click the at sign, have access to either fields um, in Infor CRM that you're inserting here, kind of like the, um, you know, the old mail merge templates do. So you can get at various fields, you can get at the 
name of the account manager, um, the email of the account manager, which we'll take a look at in a second. Um, here we've chosen the description. So we're just gonna say, you know, the opportunity name of opportunity is over $150,000. And here this, again, if we click the at sign, we get our list here. I'm just gonna type a, type a link. So here we get the link to the detail form. So actually this is just gonna be a link to the opportunity itself. So when somebody gets the email, they can click on that link and it'll open the opportunity in Infor. Uh, the recipients, I've just got my user here. I'm gonna hit the at sign and I can type me in. So I'm set up as a user in this system. And within my user account, is I have filled out my email address. So that's how it knows where to send my email. And then another one here, we want the account manager, sorry, the account manager email address. So it's gonna include that account manager as well. And you can also manually type email addresses too. So we've already got that all set up. So now we have set up our workflow. Let's go into an opportunity. And we're, we have an opportunity that's currently at 56,000. So let's bump some of these up. Now we get the sales potential over 150. And the um, process runs with the Infor CRM job server. I believe this job runs about once a minute. So it may take a few seconds. It may take around a minute or so until an email comes through. And there we go. So we get the email sent out with the subject like we set up and it automatically inserted the name of the opportunity there. And then here's a link to, I won't work because I've got this email open in a different window, but if you were to click that, then it would bring up you know, either the opportunity or the login screen so that you can get into it. And it went out to my email address and then uh, Lee 